kind of feel bad for anyone with like a full scale harp. <laughs> this is a pleasure to tune because of the machine heads on the top. Harps don't have machine heads usually. They have these pegs. So you have to use an instrument, clamp it on, and then tune each and every single note. I do a bunch of different things, uh, disco music, soul music, um, and uh, also like some bossa, bossa-esque stuff and uh, some electronic music. I'm more of a visual learner, I think. So that's sort of how I treat a lot of my projects, just sonically and visually. The way I dress is, is kind of a, a fun way to express how I feel internally. We're a little dingle dangle right over there, buddy. Get her going. <laughs> and I've performed in this. This thing can get really gross <laughs> when you start sweating in it. <laughs> but the shoulder pads are pretty good, so you can do like a lot of cool things. I'm obviously influenced by uh, costume design, fashion, and and uh, and art. So this is sort of where um, I make a lot of music and have a lot of practices and stuff like that. This is my harp here. This is a Paraguayan harp. So it's a 37 string harp. It's very beautiful. These are some of the things that I use. Currently I'm using this instrument, which is called a Chinorion. And I've been using this lately for uh, arranging and, um, and for shows live. All, a lot of these quilts here, like this quilt and the one on that far wall over there and the one behind you, um, they were made by, by my mother. And she's a very, very talented woman. This is my sister, Leilani. <laughs> so my, my father, uh, Elvis impersonator, showman, a uh, uh, bit of a jokester. My doctor, my doctor told me to bring a stool sample. Can I use this one? Oh, no. <laughs> my mother, who is a very visual um, person, designs her, or uh, made her own costumes, made, makes my father's costumes, made our clothes. Oh, no. <laughs> I feel like a big potato. <laughs> Little Linda. Our family is crazy, as you can see. Um, starts from the head of the family, I guess. Well, my dad was an escape artist, and uh, what we used to do, we used to travel all throughout uh, North America in the back part of a large station wagon. So he'd be performing on different shows. And it was like a vaudeville time, and I used to sing at uh, events, you know, and uh, uh, so we were, it was a very interesting time to be a child, and uh, we had a lot of fun. Well, it's like any immigrant who comes to a new country with a suitcase, right? I try to bring in uh, some of my culture thing and, you know, with dressing and food and uh, some of my beliefs and things like that. So hopefully that the good ones rub on my kids. I'm on my lip. <laughs> 
Won't mean a thing to you if you're not here with me. But having those two sort of um, teachers, really, master teachers, created this sort of amalgamation of uh, <laughs> both. Right now I have two other jobs, and sometimes three. Those jobs include um, me working as a, a freelance personal trainer. I used to work in a lot of gyms most of my life for about uh, 12 years, and then, um, yeah, and then I just thought maybe I should just work freelance, and that will work out for me, and it has, which is great. I'm a huge believer in, uh, in community, and uh, uh, in Toronto, um, I find that there's a really awesome artist community here. When you don't have uh, a lot of funding behind you, you come up with the most creative ways to make whatever it is that you, you want to materialize. So having a strong group of artists around you, uh, everybody sort of has their different roles and everybody collaborates and contributes to the best of their ability. Music is definitely the the dominating kind of force in my life. I hold it in a sacred place. You know, your heart is in your throat, number one, okay, and your 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 chest is just busting out. You know, you can't get like I can't get up and say, hey "Everybody, that's my daughter." Okay. I, I want to be able to to sustain myself. Uh, creating art, different forms of art, uh, being sort of honest and true with who I am. I know that sort of sounds cliche, but it's very, it's very true. You know.